Welcome back everyone, Mate Talk time. You've seen the thumbnail. Come with me. Who's this? Who's this guy? Hey man. <laughs> hey, what are you doing in my office? <laughs> So welcome everyone, a different Mate Talk today. We were actually shooting the promo for uh, some additional reels for the fragrance, uh, the France fragrance adventure that we're doing. Not adventure, France fragrance experience. 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 Um, and uh, Kevin in his wisdom once again said, why don't we shoot a Mate Talk together? I'm like, yeah. Actually, I, I knew that you were shooting one and I was just like, I want to be in this. <laughs> Can I be in this? <laughs> oh, so it was. So it was more. You just wanted to be in it together. Yeah, which is uh, cool. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, there's a number. Okay, you want to say something? So go ahead. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you, you, I saw you. How did you know? Are you you? Uh, I was going to show off my. Hey, look at this from <laughs> the international Mate talk. Correct. Yeah. Actually, on that, let, let's let's reel back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Have a look at this photo. So after we did, actually, you don't even know what you're looking at that. <laughs> There's something going to come up right here. <laughs> so it was during the live international Mata talk, which happened in October. And I, I was thinking about this yesterday, by the way. Yeah, yeah. It was during the live international Mata talk. And afterwards, look at the two of us. We were chatting. This is the birth of yeah. when we yeah. came up with the idea to do this France fragrance yeah. experience. Yeah. I think after in that whole Mata talk, just the love that we got and just everyone was just saying, you know, I. I had no other friends that are into fragrances like me. Mm -hmm. And just to be sitting and talking amongst people that are just passionate about something that they're passionate I've about. I've heard this a few times and it's more that it's, it's, I don't know why, but niche perfumery, you just get so, so in love with it. It's almost, I mean, it is, a, and I have said this in the, in the past, it's almost like it's um, not addictive, but I don't know, you just, you yeah. need more. I, and, and look, I've got a beautiful, healthy collection and I've noticed that I'm not the only one who falls into this category. Yeah. But you just like, no, but I want to know more and I want to yeah. experience more. And so... And I think the reason why we even call it niche is just by nature, not many other people, right. not many other of your friends will be into right. it as well, right. Right? right? So when you kind of are able to connect with someone else, and even if they're on the other side of the world, but, it's exciting. Yeah. One thing I have noticed is that with niche perfumery, because um, yeah, sometimes I get like, what are you doing, man? I mean, what, what's all this? <laughs> are you selling perfume? How many like, houses full of this perfumes? <laughs> you know, so, but I'm like, no, I don't sell perfumes. But, and then when I start explaining about yeah. how niche perfumery is developed, the yeah. artistry with some of the creators, um, the, the, the science, the art, People then go, tell me more, tell me. And all of us, I can see it in their eyes. They like, bing, bing and they start to draw into it. So yeah. I think there is, a, there is something magical about niche perfumery, and this is what we're exploring. And hence why, going back to it, this fragrance experience that we're going to do in France is really about, it's a call to action for the veterans and the five-star generals. Mm. These are individuals that, who are... Probably more experienced. Yeah, deeper yeah. in, but first. Let me go through some points because you know what was exciting, um, and both of us were pumped. Five hours after that Mate talk dropped last week, and we and I announced it in more yeah. detail, yeah. we had our first sale. I woke up in the morning, chiching the 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 um, the cart was there, and I had um, we had an international individual, yeah, who actually bought the first seat. We've actually sold another seat yesterday, which was very exciting. Really exciting. <laughs> So we're, we're super pumped. This is going ahead. Now, as a quick snapshot, what's it about? It's a seven day, six, sorry, seven nights, six day yep. experience in France. Three days will be in Paris. We're gonna be working or uh, enjoying time with Francois Hennen and the Javoy team. And then three days in Grasse in the south of France, enjoying time with Quentin, the owner of Soradora. And it will also include a lot of a lot of behind the scenes experiences including meeting the master perfumers seeing the distillation in grass obviously there's going to be a lot of uh things that we're going to organize for you even outside of the brands we're going to have a guided tour where we want to visit really really famous boutiques famous other other perfume shops other than Javoy. but there's a lot i mean paris and grass are the two birthplaces of perfumery right so there's a, there's a lot there for us to 
Thank you, guys. Yeah, and the, the, but again, l let me answer some FAQs, but I've just noticed on my monitor that my lights are not on, so excuse me while I actually oh. adjust this. <laughs> Since uh, last week's announcement on the Mata Talk about the, the uh, experience, uh, both of us have flagged a number of uh, questions. I'm gonna answer these questions for you now. All right, so in case you are thinking about joining on the tour, uh, I'm gonna say that these questions, are, because I've had two or three people ask me the same thing. Yeah, okay. yeah. So I'm gonna answer them right now. First one, early bird. The early bird, there's only five slots, meaning that if you book now, you'll get a chance to receive a free bottle of Soradora and a free bottle of Javoy. Your choice. Your choice. Yes. And this is the question I get asked. You know, what if I've got this and I'm like, your choice, whatever you want. Even to the point, they're releasing new fragrances. Yeah. I'm pretty certain that that'll include the new fragrance. We don't want to say too much. Yeah, okay. We don't want to say too much. But because we, we did predict that a lot of you guys probably have already maybe explored one or two favorites from Javoy, um, but, and maybe you even have a bottle from Sorodora. So we thought, well, you came up with the idea, how about we just let you guys choose? You choose. Yeah. Now, when will you get your bottle? Another question you get asked, in your hotel room. So that will be there waiting for you the moment you check in, your two bottles that you'll have. The next question we get asked, or I get asked is, will there be other perfume bottles given to us, or is this my only chance to get free bottles? No, you will be getting, the part of the experience is that we will, we want to make sure that you are walking away with pot, bottles of perfume in your suitcase. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So the experience will include free bottles. Yeah. We've got you covered. Don't yeah. Worry. <laughs> don't worry. But the early bird people will have more. Exactly. <laughs> so if you're an early bird, yeah. you will have more than everybody else. And you also get your choice. Correct. So if you've already been, if you've already, you know, if you've been looking through these brands and you've already been like, oh yeah, I want to smell this, I want to smell that, well now you can just pick it and Correct. we'll organize that for you. The, so there are some gifting that is going to happen, but it's now going to be on, during the tour, it will be new releases and, and certain fragrances that the brands will give us, whereas for the early bird, you choose. All right, so that's that. Uh, the hotel. One of the questions I get asked or have been asked is, are we going to be on the outskirts of Paris? No. You're going to be, or we're going to be, in the middle or the heart of it. You guys know how the Paris sort of evolves. It starts with uh, at the center of Paris with Notre Dame and then it evolves out. Well, we're going to be pretty much across the river from Notre Dame in the area called Le Marseilles. Le Marseilles. Le Marseilles. Le Marseilles. I'm pretty certain it's yeah. Le Marseilles. Luke, if you're out there, correct me. Tell me how to say it properly. But there's a reason why you chose this particular area. Have a look at this. Look at all these boutiques, all right? All these pins, all these pins are boutiques in that area. Javoy is also in that mix. The hotel will be in amongst all that. The idea is the moment you step out of your hotel that you'll be in the heart of it. Uh, so there will be, uh, we're gonna be doing different, um, and I'll, totally, I'll tell you about experiences in a second. There will be many different experiences in which we'll take you to these different locations. We want everything to be walkable. And, uh, but we also want on your spare time or your free time that you'll have for you guys to yeah, go. Just and to hang out and go you explore. Can, exactly, yeah. you can go and check out these places. So we will be in the middle of town. When it comes to grass, because grass is now a lot bigger, we will be in a, a four star hotel, but it includes transfer. So don't worry about how to get from A to B. We'll take care of all of that, boom experiences. Next question I get asked, and it leads back into, will I get free bottles? Yes, we promise. Every day, something exciting will happen. We don't want to tell you what that is, all right? So, but know that yeah. we've been planning behind the scenes that every day... Just imagine that when you wake up in the morning, you've got two Santa Claus men there with gifts. <laughs> One of them's Asian, but... <laughs> and the other one's Latino. Yeah, but, I mean, this is the perfume Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. What we want is that every morning you'll get something. So yeah. it could be uh, the perfect croissant in yeah. Paris yeah. from the perfect place or uh, uh, anyway, the bottom line is every morning there'll be uh, something nice to experience. Part of that will be fragrances. All right. So not every morning will you get a free bottle because uh, <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. If you guys want to find out more, this is for our Oligar customers and people watching it through that. Um, it's the nfcperfumes.com website. So I'll send that link 
down below for you guys there. Book your ticket. One thing that I need to close now, because as I said, we are going to, um, I'm, we'll be traveling to Italy at the end of the week. We're catching up, catching up with Mel, um, seeing his new fragrance, going to be exploring that, some of these other fragrances that he has. Now, one thing that I need to close this week is the Milan Exxons Tour. So if you were contemplating that, wanting to be a part of that, uh, there are two slots left. If you want to join, you yeah, jump on in because the reason why I need to close it is that uh, the tour includes a free bottle from either Paris Monte Carlo, Boyce 1920, or uh, Neo Fushuni, and I need to organize that. I want to make sure that I have that from the, the brands, and that way I can give it to you when we catch up at Exxon's. End of this week, it's done. Um, so if you want to join. Can I add one tip? Yes, yes, boss. I had a chat with Mel last night. Mm. Mm. Tip, when you guys go there, and you're going to want to go there, he's got the new perfume, his new release. Sony. It has like uh, notes of rice. Correct. Which I don't pick up very often. And somebody with a, quite a large collection, I don't have many that are yeah. like that, which is really cool. Yeah, I, I'm, look, I'm really excited. This is gonna, and he's done, I, I'm not gonna talk. Anyway. Because that Sonya is part of that. Yeah, the Sonya is part of, I mean, the, yeah. the, the, the um, it's, it's gonna be really fragrances cool. that we're gonna yeah. talk about. I'm really excited to. Wow. And actually I've got, there's some really, I, I can't even tell you, but ah, secret, secret. there are some really exciting things with okay. that, that's happening with Mail. We're going to do a Mata talk with Mail too, so I'll, okay. I'll be able to uh, cool. explore cool, a bit cool. more. Uh, so that's that. The Tuesday the 28th, we are meeting at the Fuego store in Milan also. There's a number of people who are coming across to that. 11 a.m. as the store opens, let's meet out the front. I look forward to catching up with everyone. Actually, one thing I forgot to ad lib, excuse me, talk in the middle. Uh, la, 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 la. <laughs> I wish I could be there. Actually, you guys don't know, but he's going to Essence, Essence which is the biggest Essence. perfume trade show, the biggest perfume exhibition uh, in the world, actually. Yeah, it is. And yeah. um, we went there Big last brands. year, it was huge. You may have seen the reel that I did on the Oligarch Party and then also the, um, uh, the Anchor Kush yeah. new release. Ali. Now this Shout is, out to Ali. <laughs> this is his new fragrance. It's called Veri Verte. It's really, really impressive. Now, he's done, this is his first batch. This is number six of 93. Wow. He has, he has signed it. Yeah. Um, the notes are there so you get a better idea. This is fresh, aromatic, but vibrant green vetiver note in there. There's a nice like sweet fruitiness to it. Absolutely. I forgot what fruity uses, but it's, it's very rich. Awesome, awesome yeah. fragrance. Just released, it's new in this country. I'm gonna bring this to Milan. So if you join us at the Fuego store, anybody or everybody that's there, I'll put everybody's name in the wheel. Uh -huh. We're gonna do a oh, random selection. Cool. Somebody's gonna win this. Cool. All right, so you'll be the only person in Europe to actually have this. There you go, <laughs> yeah. whoa. All right, so that was a gift. I wanna thank again uh, Ali, thank you so much. He uh, gifted this so that I can gift it to you guys. So normally perfume, it's hard for me. To, normally when I do a perfume giveaway, it's only for Australia. This one is built for you guys in Europe. So that's wow. for you guys. Bada bing, we're done. Do we want to do a review or do we want to just move I on? Uh, yeah, because I'm, I'm like, I'm exhausted. We've done so many things. Actually, no, quick review. Oh, yay. All right. Where do you want to start? All right, let me share. So out of the, so if you're like, an early bird and you want to know which of the fragrances that you could possibly choose from yes. Javoy or Sorodora, yes. let me put forward two recommendations. I'm going to talk about Sorodora, you can talk Javoy. Hit it. All right, and I'll add my bits and pieces. I've been wearing Mandrole today. Mandrole. Mandorle. 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 French house from Paris, but the name is Italian. It, yeah. It translates and, to? Almond. That's it. So it's an almond fragrance, and I know that you may think, oh, your Casamorati, Italica, different. Mm. So the Italica tends to be very amaretti, so that sort of almost bitter kind of, mm -hmm. uh, not liqueur, but it does have a bitterness to the almond. This is creamy caramel almond. Yeah. A little bit of, do you ever pick up like a cherry note? Uh, well, funny, there is something else. I thought it was a floral note. I, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, to my nose, I pick up like a cherry note. Yeah. Which I think is, is Beautiful. This is a gorgeous fragrance. Now, I did this on the last month of talk. Um, you said it was more feminine leaning. I said, I can wear this. You yeah. said I was a bit girly. Yeah. It's not very nice. Um, a man can wear this. I, I actually had this, my son was wearing it the other day. 
and the same again. So this is comfortably masculine, feminine fragrance. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. The other one that I really love is Grask. I, this is magic, magical. You know uh, the inspiration behind this? Yeah, this is where his grandfather was from. Yeah, yeah. Well, great grandfather, grandfather. Uh, it's a small village mm. in Provence, mm. which is near Grasse, which is like very, very close to Grasse. And when we say he, it's Quentin, the owner of the brand. Yeah. This is, it has so many layers to this. If you like Torino 21, this is almost like, it's a more bu a punchier sort of version of it. It has this wonderful green yeah. uh, peppermint, spearmint sort of note. Yeah. There's a greenness, but it also has an aquatic nature to it. He There's wanted a... to capture that whole scenery of, of right. where the, the family's from. It's awesome. So you've got the ocean, sea breeze, a bit salty. Awesome. And you've got all the greenery. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful fragrance. So if you're new to Soradora, these two are a great place to commence. Early bird. Yeah. yeah. Early bird. Get them for free. These two. Touche Vanel. Touche mm. Vanel, I've always thought is probably leans a bit more feminine. Yeah. It's got uh, the yellow florals, ylang ylang, mimosa, kind of that style there. Some people pick up a little bit, almost like a really beautiful lipsticky, like mm -hmm. uh, accord to it. Yeah. Um, very very pretty scent. Yeah. My wife's been wearing this since uh, we did the wedding video together. Yeah. Uh, I well, Kevin discovered or showed me this. Sandra's been wearing this, and it's just on her. It just is divine. It's very feminine. Yeah. Just. Just glorious. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance for, for, for This is going to be featured in a... Oh, no, no, no. You already posted the that. Wedding. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The wedding, yeah. The wedding, the wedding it's one. already out. It's already yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Watch the wedding episode again. Bing! Bing! Right, right, right here. Um, but one of the reasons... There's another reason that I thought was really cool why I wanted to add it to that episode. And I love that you've got it here. Yeah. Because it was perfumed by Vanina Marcioli. Not that this is one of the one, going to be one of the experiences because we want to keep things, you know, a, a yeah. bit of a surprise. Yeah. But maybe, maybe we can hook you guys up. That's all. We're, that's all we're going to say. We're gonna say. That's all we're going to yeah. say. And this and next one. Let me just. Vanina is incredible. So she's got her own boutique. I'm going to go check that out when I'm in Paris. Yeah. So anyway. Can I come? To <laughs> come along, man. Me. Remember me. You were just smelling it this morning. I love this. Ambery. It's very like classic French. You got it here? Yeah. Can I? So what I love, so this is Cecile Zoriken is the, yeah, yeah, um, the yeah. perfumer. Yeah. It, this is the most metamorphous of any niche perfume. So it has cardamom and ginger. Yeah. So you'd think it'd be very zingy, very spicy. It starts off with that beautiful brightness. So it has a bergamot also in the opening. But then it goes into this milky vibe in the in the in the sort of maybe Dry down in an hour. Yeah, but in, oh, in about an hour, yeah. it has this milky kind of vibe. For those who are familiar with the Argentinian treat called dulce de leche, it it's has that. it's that caramel. You know that biscuit that I gave you? Oh, okay. okay. So like so that caramel in the middle. Okay. It's dulce de leche. Oh. So it has a dulce de leche kind of vibe. But then when it dries down even further, I thought uh, I thought that's the evolution of it. it. Gets to a dulce de leche part, and that's where it ends. Yeah. Nope. It dries down even further. It has this ambery sweetness. Mm -hmm. I detected some florals, I don't know what they are, mm -hmm. but that the, I guess the milkiness comes off a little bit. Anyway, on skin is magic. The name is Remember Me, and that's the point. The you idea, won't forget me. <laughs> the idea is yeah. that this is an awesome date fragrance where people will be like, man, you are smelling what amazing. Are you, what are you wearing? Yeah. And the, that scent yeah. profile stays with them as you leave them, you know? So remember me. This is the reason why this, this is one of the, definitely one of the bigger names mm. in Javoy and they have quite an extension, uh, extensive collection already. Mm. Um, and this is, I would consider it one of their more popular names. Yeah, yeah. ambery, just wonderful. I think it could play well in winter. Uh, sorry, yeah. in, uh, winter, no problem, but in summer? Yeah, or winter, no problem. 100%. That yeah. smell, I mean, yeah. it's freaking awesome. Oh, no, I always think amber, more ambery style scents, yeah. well, at least in the dry down for more cooler days. Yeah. So I think it's perfect. Yeah. Masculine, feminine, they're easy go. So some awesome fragrances there. One last thing, I'm gonna do another one. Give me a second. <laughs> this guy keeps forgetting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I am, you know what happened? There's more. You threw me off when you said, hey, let's do a month of talk He now. was thinking that I'm gonna organize my morning later and do it in the afternoon, but then I was like, I gotta go to work. He, he, threw, he threw my mojo. <laughs> this is a brand, so again, going back to that Milan um, Exxon's tour, if you wanna join us, a new brand. So this is Age of Vanilla. I want you to smell this. Ah, oh, tell me about this. Okay, I'm... so the brand is called Toscovat. Now, I reached out to the, I connected with the perfumer. 
he was kind to send me this bottle. So this is a gifted bottle. Cool. I, I, sometimes I'm reluctant because everything in my collection is mine and I like talking about it with confidence because it's mine. Yeah. However, this one here, it really impressed me. And this is a brand that we're gonna, so guys who are on the tour, we're gonna go talk to David. David is the perfumer. One thing that he said to me when I had a meeting with him is that he wanted to create perfumes that actually are, it, he, and these are his words, that shock you and that make you, yeah, that, huh? that, that not necessarily do you go, wow, um, that's, I'm in love instantly. His actual reaction is, I don't know if this is for me, this is weird. But then it has this amazing, like, it's like a hook. It lures you back in. Now, okay, so David, and I, and I sent an email to David saying, you know, thank you for the bottle, it was very kind. Mm -hmm. um, let me tell you my experience. So I sprayed this with Sandra, yeah. and I sprayed it with my daughter, her husband. Yeah. The moment that this thing opened, everyone's like, oh, oh, what, oh, that's that's weird. And I'm not gonna tell you what it is, I'm, I'm gonna get you to tell me. Uh, okay. That's weird, all right. Okay, I think this is awesome. Age of Innocence is the fragrance. He's got a really vast collection. Yeah. I sprayed it with my editor here, Hannah. Yeah. She actually wore it as a going out fragrance. So it, some people are like, what the heck? And others are like, my gosh, that is, and, but projection, power, room filler, my goodness gracious. May I? Yes, you may. Is this the, it looks like a 30, 30, 40 mil? Boom, huh? You know? Tell me. The very, very strong projecting opening that I'm getting? Yeah. I like it. Why would they not like it? It has oud. Oh, because it has a um, very, it's not fecal, yeah. but it's very pronounced. And as I said, this man's a five-star general, like I said earlier. I like so to you're familiar it. with, yeah, you're, yeah. you're more comfortable oh, that, with oud. But that's why they don't like it. I think so. I think yeah. the oud, but there's something happening there. Okay. Because I get more. On that opening, I'm there's two interplays happening. Almost like a sugary sweetness to it. With oud. Sweet amber or a, like a caramelly kind of sugary. So according to the notes, he uses a fairy floss. So fairy floss sweetness, but mixed in with this yeah. very animalic, punchy oud. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really like it. Yeah, it's a good fragrance. <laughs> yeah, it wow. has a slight sort of raspberry tone to it. Yeah, yeah. Then there is like... Yeah. Um, Almost like a pink fairy floss. Yeah, like yeah. a pink... Yeah. Like I said, I have to talk about it because it's yeah. it's one of those brands that I think this is... He's just launched, so he's brand new at Excellence. It's oh, his first year. Okay, okay. Um, and yeah, it's sorry, he's Italian, he's actually from Romania. Whoa, boom, there you go. Cool. A, yeah, so uh, and again, look, going back to all things niche perfumery, it's about the world. So, yeah. uh, this is what I love about niche perfumery that you can discover these are artists mm. across the world, you know, it's not relegated to just designer houses or anything of that nature. So, this gentleman is from Romania. And he, he mentioned that he wanted to come on the scene to create something that is something that is different. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely rather than different. straight down the line. Yeah. We're veering now. I but like exciting. Super exciting. I can already see there's more art to this. Absolutely. He's making it for the art, not just for yeah. mass appeal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Correct. And well, like I said, in his words, he, he's happy to say, you know, if well, you don't like it, it yeah. if you don't like it, he actually yeah. likes that response as opposed to. But you're gonna be blown away. Yeah, yeah. And, and as a room filler. Yeah. When you spray here, the whole neighborhood can smell. See, I really like this. And it lasts. There we go. You'll see. Wow. Bada bing, baby. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you guys all on the next Mate Talk in Italy. Done. Hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs>